If you want a no-nonsense guide on how to get the best FPS and performance and optimizations for the new performance mode, then make sure you stick around because I'm going to be telling you some codes, problems, optimizations, and how to reduce the FPS stutters you may be getting from it, and in general, and how to disable high-res textures. And if you can't get any of this to work, I'm going to show you exactly how you can get it to work. So let's get straight into it. So I'm going to start off with the pros. Now, these are going to be perfect for a competitive player. Seeing in the storm now has never been easier. You can literally see in the storm without even noticing it's there. Okay, that's a slight lie. You, you can notice it's there. But it is even better than seeing in the storm than it would be before with colorblind modes on. You must have this on right now to find a llama in your next game. Now, you have to have this on. This is going to give you such a competitive advantage, especially in late games, those rotations where you're caught in storm. It is easy to see everything that is going on. And I recommend you put this on easy wins so picking up this green pistol i'm about to show you another mainly used for competitive gameplay again is that you can see the outlines of these things so you can see exactly when you're editing i use this example right now because this is where you could be caught in a, a sticky situation where you need to get out quickly and you can just use those edits super duper easy as you can see i'm absolutely acing it because i'm absolutely fucking cracked out of my mind now another one is obviously that you're gonna get really good uh fps lower input delay uh from this so i recommend that you obviously turn this on if you don't know how to turn it on go over to settings right here click on the performance mode here yours is going to be on direct x11 or 12 just turn it on to performance mode then restart your system and you'll have it on now that's pretty much all the pros i know right they're pretty good probably the best optimization you're going to get for fortnite now the cons of this is obviously your textures are going to be super bad like everything you're going to get used to it and it's not even going to you're not even going to realize it obviously i don't even realize it now using it that much unless i really look at it 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 took me about what four four five games to get used to it honestly don't even notice it and another one is if we come over here your view distance is going to be horrible okay you have to be running it on epic you need your view distance on epic because look this is only where i can see it now again you sort of lose about a tile of space on the ground uh, every time you lower your distance down you can see it from about three four away if you're lucky no it's about about three and a half 35 meters i believe that is uh so yeah i recommend you put your uh view distance on high it's not going to harm your fps whatsoever it doesn't make a difference having low performance on i haven't noticed a difference now talking about fps differences you're going to find that you might be getting a lot of stutters i did initially but i used some optimizations that have just gotten me to be more consistent with my frames. As you can see, I still not even that consistent. In game, they're usually a lot better. Now, talking off, I uh, start. Oh, what the fuck am I on? Now, starting off with the first one, and that is you need to be running your textures on low to medium. Now, normally I'd recommend you put them on high to like ultra, but for this, if you're running this on, I recommend you put them on low to medium. You're gonna see some much more better inconsistencies. But again. This worked for my system and a couple other people's systems. So I recommend that you try uh, try it on all of them and see which one works best for you. This can always depend on what sort of CPU and GPU and components you have. I recommend you fiddle around with your textures and again, view distance on max. Now, usually I'll tell you to cap your frame rate uh, unlimited or one above your monitor's refresh rate. Now for this, you really need to be getting the inconsistencies in your frames and having mine run on ultimate or unlimited, sorry, I was not getting those consistencies. No, I would not, sir. So, I encourage you to put it on your native uh, monitor's resolution. Not resolution. Well, I do recommend you do that. Uh, frame rate. Me, 240, 144 hertz, 144 hertz. Don't put it one up above that or anything. You're going to see some horrific FPS inconsistencies. So, I recommend you do that. Now, this is pretty much everything I went over. I went over bad textures. Can't see very items very far. Easy to see in storm. Easy to see edit outlines. Much better to FPS and lower input delay. And overall, a big competitive advantage. So I'm going to be telling you how you can disable high res textures. It's pretty easy uh, to disable it, but it's going to be causing you some FPS uh, usage. So I recommend that you turn this off. You probably installed it without even realizing it takes off a lot of your space. So it's always good to get this uninstalled. And also, if you can't get uh, this high performance mode to work, I'm going to be telling you how to fix it. It's going to be one simple mode that's going to fix it for 100% all of you. And if it doesn't, well, then you're fucked. So, you want to head over to your game launcher. You want to click Fortnite. Click on the three little buttons down here. You want to go to options. 
and over here there's going to be three little installation options the one is the core fortnite mode the battle royale and then you've got save the world and then you've got high resolution textures which is our whopping 15 gigabytes now default it is going to be selected you would have probably already downloaded this not even realized you have so what you want to do is simply just uh, click the uninstall button here or the tick i'm going to click apply and it's going to do it like so i already did it to mine so there's not going to be a little uninstallation thing that comes up it takes about five seconds to do but i recommend you do that if you want more performance in your game now moving on to another thing which i highly recommend you do which is uh well no sorry it's not i don't fucking highly recommend you do just what i do actually i do so if you can't actually install it, then I'm going to be telling you exactly what you can do to get the high performance mode on. So hit Windows R, put in percentage app data percentage. You want to click OK, go back to data roaming, click on local, locate Fortnite game, go to saved, go to config, Windows client, game user settings. Now you want to click that, right click it, hit properties. Now, if you've got the read only ticked right here, then make sure you untick it like so. Make sure you click apply and OK. You want to exit out and then you just want to relaunch fortnite if you haven't already uh and that is going to be uh that's how you do it that's how you get it to run now you'll be able to do all the performances i just told you to do i strongly recommend if you haven't already make sure you have performance mode on there are no downsides practically to it but i recommend if you're a competitive player most definitely you need to be running this without further ado this has been a no nonsense guide on how to get the best fps possible if you want to know all other sorts of optimizations to get better fps uh lower input delay lower ping etc make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next one hopefully i wish i beg please you support create code wizarding for my i'm sure today please thank you and bye